So for this problem, we actually have two wires here hanging and attached at point A and each has a length of 400 millimeters. And right here, the problem statement is if the force P causes point A to be displaced vertically three millimeters, determine the normal strain in each of the wires. So we see we have a force pulling it down. The original location of these two wires was point A, but then with this with this force, it deformed both of the wires, and now the final position is A prime, and the displacement of those two points is three millimeters, and we're being asked to solve for the normal strain in each of the wire. So we know that strain is equal to the the change in length divided by the original length, or we could also write it the final length, take away the original length divided by original length. So we're supposed to find it for each of the wires. Now, since we see that this um, is symmetric, we know that one wire is going to be the deformed the exact same amount as the other. So all we have to do is solve the strain of one of the wires, which gives us the, the strain in both of the wires because they deform the exact same amount. Now, we see that this problem is only going to be involving trig. So we have the original length of 400 millimeters here. And now since this is going to be symmetric, we could actually solve for this length here, which is basically 400 times sine theta. And we know the angle theta is 30 degrees. So having this, we have this length over here, the original length. And now let's go ahead and calculate um, this. So this length of the triangle is 400 cosine theta. This length is 400 sine theta. And we know the this 400 is the original length. Now the final length that we're trying to solve for is the this dashed line. This will be the final length. So now let's go ahead and just um, focus on the larger triangle here. So we have this length, 400 cosine theta, and we have this length. But now when it comes to the new triangle that we're drawing, which is from this point down to A prime attached to this attachment point here, we see the length is 400 cosine theta plus this additional length here, which is 3 millimeters. So we have this total length here of this triangle and we have and this remains the same 400 sine theta. All that's left is using Pythagorean theorem to find the final length. Let me go ahead and draw that separate triangle out just to just to clarify it. So here drawing the larger triangle, we see that this length is 400 sine theta. This portion here is 400 cosine 30 degrees. And then we have this three millimeters that it deformed to. And then all we have to do is solve for the final length using Pythagorean theorem. So we get the final length of 400 and 2.6 millimeters and we know the original length was 400 so that change in length is 402.6 take away 400 millimeters divide by the original length which is 400 now one thing to know as you could tell the units will cancel out so this is unitless which is why i mentioned previously it's a ratio or the percentage of how much it deformed so the normal strain for each wire is 0 0.0065 millimeters per millimeter. If you want to keep the, the units here, basically for every millimeter of the original length, it deformed 0 0.0065 millimeters. Or in terms of a percentage, it deformed 0.65%.